Hello guys, Brad here again with my final review from my uh, expiration select set from the House of Abbott. And the last one is a fragrance called Mojave. And uh, Mojave is a fragrance inspired by the Mojave Desert out in California with notes of bergamot, black pepper, tobacco leaf, and also at Fragrantica they mention ginger and saffron. A citrusy and spicy perfume inspired by the Mojave Desert of California. So, yeah, this one, um, this is an enjoyable one, I think. Um, you do get like a black peppery, uh, spicy uh, tobacco fragrance with that ginger. It's a very spicy tobacco type fragrance. To my nose, it almost has like a clove-like effect when you mix the ginger and the black pepper and the tobacco leaf together for some reason. But, yeah, if you enjoy that type of smell like um, cloves or you know, just like tobacco, black pepper, ginger, I think you're going to like this one. It doesn't come across super citrusy to me, I think, because there's other notes, the spices and the tobacco. They sort of overpower the bergamot here, and the bergamot is in there. Especially in the opening to give it a little bit of freshness, but yeah, it's basically very spicy. Not real strong though. Um, this is a fragrance that you would think would be stronger based on the notes, but this one's kind of transparent and light. And I guess it does sort of evoke like a a breeze through the desert in, in that transparent feel. It's not like real cloying and heavy like something you'd wear in the winter. This is probably something for spring and maybe early fall. And still not real cold, maybe a little cool breezy kind of a day, but I like it. Not super unique. I think if you smelled uh, other fragrances uh, with like a clove note or uh, even like Spice Bomb or uh, Black Walnut from Banana Republic, kind of in the same vein as this one. It's pleasant, and I think maybe the lightness of it does work to its advantage because, like I said, you might not want a real heavy fragrance with these types of notes in it. Like if you work in a hospital setting or a place where heavy fragrances are frowned upon, this one might be a good choice, uh, the Mojave. Um, so let's get some final scores here. The smell, I like the smell. I'm going to give a 7.5 out of 10. If you like that tobacco, spicy, peppery, ginger type smell, the saffron might give it a slight leathery feel as well. Some people pick up on that. Uh, projection longevity, um, it's not a real powerful fragrance, but it does sort of linger throughout the day. So we'll see when you get four to six hours, I think uh, you can still pick up on it. I didn't get any feedback at work on this one, but I could certainly smell it on myself. Versatility, like I said, I think it's like a two-season fragrance. Maybe a little bit too spicy for summer, a little bit too light and breezy for um, winter. But as a transition fragrance, I think it does pretty well. So we'll say uh, versatility, day wear, spring, fall, probably about 7 out of 10. Uniqueness, uh, maybe 6 out of 10. Uh, I think there's other fragrances, like I said, like Black Walnut and uh, Spice Bomb. They kind of have the same vibe to this one. I'm sure side by side you can pick up on differences, but uh, not really something that uh, is going to grab you as super unique and different. Unless you don't have a lot of experience smelling these types of fragrances, then maybe that will change your mind about that. But uh, Price point, a 50 ml bottle, $88. So I think because they claim to use uh, more natural ingredients and maybe jacks up the price from what you might find uh, cheaper at a, like a discount designer type fragrance. So overall for me, I'm going to say 6.5 out of 10. Uh, I think it smells nice. Uh, lacks a little bit in the uniqueness factor. Uh, some people might complain about the, the performance because it's kind of light. But like I said, I work in a hospital setting, so that doesn't bother me too much. So it's a nice one to check out. I'm looking forward to wearing the rest of my sample and finishing off this expiration set. So yeah, final score, 6.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.